So here are the drinking poly bags. This is for like doing like carrier and a drink. Okay, so they're made out of like this perforated plastic. It's definitely got holes in it, it looks like. We'll, we'll check it out. Okay, so it's only yay tall. I thought this was going to be much deeper, I guess. It's okay. So it opens right here. Open it up. It's got a just semi, just enough for a bottom to put your cup in. I can't tell. No, just like this one. So it may have put, like uh, these little texture bubbles, but. It's not going to leak if the drink leaks in here. Now, I feel like there's only so much space on the top of that. Let me grab something in here. So I have a very large... Okay, I guess that's not too bad. So, here is a, uh, a jar I was taking the stickers off of. A glass jar. This fits the glass jar. So this is a very, very large glass jar. This is one of those big family-sized ones. This guy, I forget how many ounces it is, but... It, it's more than an average size jar, so it will in fact fit like the top of a drink. Now it's going to fit snug in there, and the person's going to have to get their fingers like around the edges of it, but it'll work. And this is about the height of a grande with a bubble lid on it. So if you got like cream or something, yeah, it's about the height of a grande with a bubble lid. If you were to put a venti, I think it would actually come right up to here. Yeah, so the venti would be here, and then the grande would be here with the bubble lid. But I don't think you could do a bubble lid venti. You probably could, but you'd be like red right fingers. But that's nice for being able to take the drink. Very, very nice. Now let's see what the stress test shows. So if it's a really heavy drink, it is going to hold. But definitely going to mess around with the stress of it. The stress test is showing that it's going to make it. But it's going to definitely stress it out. Let's see, it's pulling right there on that edge. Show you, see, like that. But I mean, I'm putting extreme test on there. But you know, if you have a drink that's like ultra dense, like a smoothie, um, it's gonna hold it, but it's gonna be like, all right, what's going on with the spec? <laughs> so yeah, this bag works, and I can imagine other applications for a bag like this too, if you're needing it for other types of food service stuff, like you could put giant fruit cups or um, acai cups, like deep acai cups or um, what do you call them, the overnight oats and stuff like that. You can use those. And salads. 
they would have to fit in a kind of a standard size iced coffee cup. But yeah, they're nice bags. They, they, they do the job. They don't seem like anything like ultra special or anything like, ooh, fancy bag. I don't feel like, oh, this is fancy. But it has a, um, yeah, it's interesting how the texture is like out on this side. So it's grippy like right here. I guess if somebody was to hold it, they could grip it. Maybe that's the purpose of it. But like this side is slick. And I think the grip is on the inside. Yeah, the grip's on the inside. So it's like, <laughs> it's interesting how it's a symbol. But on this side, the slippery side, you could put your company sticker, for example. Or like a thank you. Like if you're giving these to somebody, you can say, here's your thank you. And there's their drink. And then you can say thank you in a little note. And that would be super duper cute. But yeah. That's what these are likely going to be used for. Like, um pudding like soup and cold soup grant you um i don't plan to put hot soup like cold soups like gazpacho and stuff but anyway um there you go